folks, today we are going to do a Mediterranean inspired keto weekly meal plan. I believe all of these countries are Mediterranean. We shall see. <laughs> I'm American, we ain't so good with our geography. Anyway, this week's meal plan is inspired by Southern Europe. So just a snack I decided to pick up today were some Spanish stuffed olives with pimento. And also too, I decided to snack on some red pepper. Um, I've been buying those baby peppers in the bag, but I just, I really like the red pepper part. So that's what I bought. <laughs> Might as well just get what you want, right? Our Italian inspired lunch is going to be a uh, ground turkey meatball with some Parmesan cheese and some awesome tomato sauce that I picked up from the grocery store that is pretty low carb. It was one of the lowest carb ones I could find. And our dinner is inspired by a traditional Greek dish. You all know it. It's going to be a pork souflaki skewer with a Greek salad on the side. We're keeping it keto and it's going to be really filling. This week might be a little bit higher carb. We may actually get to like 20 to 25 net grams of carbs with all the snacks included, but you can definitely tweak this meal plan to fit your needs. Okay, two food shout outs that I saw at Food Line today. It is hot y'all, it's like nine to four degrees and it's like 5 p.m. and I'm tired and hungry. But um, so I was in the grocery store and I was super thirsty. So I was looking for some sparkling like seltzer waters that had like some like, you know, hints of flavor in there. I saw this and I picked it up. It's the Aspire and this one is the mango lemonade and the carbs, zero. Zero carbs, zero calorie. When I picked it up, I was looking really quick because I was in the checkout line and I couldn't find any artificial sweeteners. It does have sucralose. I didn't realize that when I got it. So since I'm cutting out all artificial sweeteners, I wouldn't buy this again. But if you're doing artificial sweeteners and you allow sucralose, pick this up this was so good <laughs> it'd also be a great summertime mixer for those you know pool parties that you got going on in your life okay then the star for our lunch is going to be this tomato sauce it's called Michael's of Brooklyn and this is the fresh tomato and basil and I love the label it says imported Italian tomatoes fresh basil fresh garlic Italian olive oil spices and fresh parsley nothing else and so the nutrition on the back was great. For half a cup or 120 grams, you got 45 calories and four net grams of carbs. This whole jar was $8.99, but it was one of the biggest jars in the grocery store. So I'm excited to try it. Actually, let's do a little bit of a taste test right now. Even though it's past lunchtime and we'll actually work with this tomorrow, I want to see what it tastes like. Stick my finger in there because I'm classy. That's going to be real good. I'm excited. Oh yeah, tastes like a really good tomato sauce for your pasta dishes without the pasta because you're on keto. I'm excited to try my meatballs with this tomorrow. Um, so yeah, kind of can't wait. All right, let's look at all of the groceries that I got for this week. These are all the groceries that I got. This is the most that I've bought at the grocery store in a long time, but I just really wanted just something delicious. So like I said, we're going with Southern Europe over here. So for snacks, we have two. I've got some Spanish olives stuffed with pimento and then these beautiful four red sweet bell peppers. If you've been on my Instagram, you know I've been eating bell peppers as my lunch, but I just kind of wanted to incorporate these as a snack now. For lunch, we're gonna make some turkey meatballs. And I think I'm gonna try and make them stick together using some grated Parmesan. We'll throw some baby bella mushrooms in after we brown the turkey meatballs and cook them into this sauce. Maybe add in some artichoke hearts to that. So a nice little Italian lunch. And then I got five bags of this um, iceberg salad. Each bag has about four servings. So that means that this would come out to you 60 calories and eight net grams of carbs. I've got three pork tenderloins that we're going to make our pork souflaki with. And then to top the salad, we got some feta, some Kalamata olives, and some beautiful tomatoes. For the salad, I'm just gonna use this Simply Vinaigrette and it's really good on carbs and calories per two tablespoons or 30 grams. Ain't too shabby. Why ground turkey breast? Cause I love volume and we're gonna cover this stuff in that sauce anyway. So hopefully you won't be able to taste this turkey. I mean, I'm sure you will, but whatever. And so this is a lower calorie meat, which means I get to eat more actual volume of meat. So I'm really excited and I'm gonna hit that protein goal, definitely. I mean, come on, you really can't beat 120 calories per 112 grams of meat. So those are my reasons. I know a lot of people are like, Ale, why don't you eat high fat keto? Cause I get to eat all this food and it tastes good and I like it. So that's just how I do. Also, gee, this boneless pork tenderloin is also 120 calories 
per 112 grams and of course zero carb. So yes, I love lean meat because I get to eat more of it because I like food. So tonight we're going to make dinner and then I'll show you guys my lunch for tomorrow. As always, I will put all of the information, ingredients, nutrition in the description down below. Okie doke, I've got my big old salad in my um, storage container bowl, classy. And we got our souflaki, our pork souflaki. I didn't pick up tzatziki sauce. Um, I Every time I try tzatziki sauce, it's always a little bit carbier than I'd like. So you could definitely add it and fit it into your day, but I just decided to go without. So I've never made a skewered meat in the oven before. I've never made it on the grill either. And y'all, it's real hot, it's super hot. I was not grilling today. No. <laughs> so let's try out this pork souflaki. Looks good. Smells good. It was in the oven on a lower rack on high broil for almost 30 minutes. I'm going to say like 28 minutes or so. So here we go. Hey, that's really good. Mm-hmm. That is super duper good. Oh my goodness, it's so good. And actually it's been sitting there because I've been like filming too. So I'm sure fresh out of the oven, it would be even better. But I was kind of worried because it wasn't cooked exactly the same all around. Like this side isn't as cooked as well as that side. Still tastes really good. Um, I love the flavor of it. You can definitely get the Greek flavors. It's Italian seasoning, but I mean, come on, they're, they're close enough. You do get a hint of that oliviness from the olive oil, the meat. Um, even though it was in the broiler for almost 30 minutes, it's not like dried out. It's really good juicy and tender. Oh yeah, super duper good. I knew going into this that if I tried to turn it, it wouldn't stay because it'd be top heavy. So I didn't even try to turn it like halfway through cooking. Okay, big old salad time. Here we go. I didn't mix it up because I wanted it to be look pretty, but I'm going to mix it up. <laughs> all right, mixing it all around. I went camping for the fourth in the middle of a lake, social distancing and whatnot. What did you guys do? I actually brought lots of keto friendly snacks. I brought some pork rinds and I brought some turkey bites that I saw in the checkout line at Walmart and I ate all of it. I overate so much yesterday. So um, I find this does no good to punish yourself. I mean, unless you can get through the next day but just because you're not hungry and so you're fasting, but don't fast after a, like a heavy eating day because you feel bad about what you ate. That's not gonna help and it creates a vicious cycle. At least it does for me. So if you're not hungry, don't eat. And if you don't have the inclination or the desire to eat, then don't because you ate so much the other day. But don't punish yourself. Oh, it's just that creates so many mental stresses. You know, finally at the end of the next day, you're finally getting hungry because you ate a lot the first day. But you're like, no, you were bad. You can't eat. It's don't treat food that way. Don't treat yourself that way. All right, big old salad. Here we go. That's good too. <laughs> I just dumped the whole dang bag in there. All four servings of iceberg salad lettuce. Actually, one serving of that um, Simply Vinaigrette by Ken's, which is really good, by the way. One serving is 30 grams, and it's like 140 calories, and it's actually covering this salad really nicely. You'll notice that I salt and pepper my salad. Totally do that. Um, it just brings out the flavors of the dressing. 
If you wanted to add more flavor without adding more calories, you might try and squeeze in some lemon juice. It makes it a little bit more spreadable if it's not completely you know, covering your lettuce the way that you want. Or instead of lemon juice with a Greek salad, what's really good is to get some pepperoncinis and you know, like the whole peppers, even just some pepperoncini juice when they're jarred. I'm just like either bite into the pepper and squeeze it or just scoop out some jar juice or pepperoncinis. I shredded my feta um, and I do that because one of my favorite Greek restaurants, they always served their feta shredded and it looks like a lot in the cup and it covers the salad really nicely. You barely even need dressing when you have that much feta because it's just all flavorful cheese and it's so good. So I shred my feta because that makes a little chunk of feta go way bigger. You just get more spread on a salad like this. But yeah, so that is my uh, <laughs> dinner for tonight and for the rest of the week. And tomorrow we'll start with that lunch. So thank you for watching and you should try this out. If you're afraid of grilling or making kebabs in the oven, it ain't that hard. It's pretty easy. Okay folks, there's thunder, there are cars. I have to do this end of the video quickly, but this turned out really, really well and I'm really excited about it. I couldn't believe that I got nine meatballs out of that turkey. I added in some of the Parmesan cheese. Um, so let's take a look at how they cooked. I let them cook a long time in the oven. Broil and foil on high, fully cooked through. I'm gonna add in some of the sauce over here. And the sauce came out really well. The artichokes really make it slightly tangy. I was wondering if I would need to salt the sauce. I don't think I need to. I almost forgot to season the meatballs. Ah! But anyway, here we go. Full bite. Yes, ma'am. So good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The turkey has lots of flavor. I salted it well. I love salt. I put oregano or Italian seasoning in there. Super duper good. Oh my gosh. Really, really good. And this is a big portion for lunch. This is like one of the biggest portions for lunches I've been eating. I've been going back to two meals a day. This is good. It's all protein basically. I'm really excited that I found that sauce. The sauce is good. You could definitely meal prep this. I feel like in a lot of my videos, I'm like, I'm gonna cook this for three nights, but I'll put the serving down for one below. Blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> today I just made one serving and all of that nutritional and stuff will be in the description down below. But I'm definitely going to start meal prepping this um, tomorrow I'll make it for the rest of the week. You could roll out the meatball balls, put them in the freezer thumb, and then cook them when you're ready. Yes, this is definitely a meal prep type of lunch, but it's so good. Oh my goodness. It's really hitting the spot right now. I really wanted some Italian food, and this is it right here. Mm. And again, it's such a lean protein, but I get to have nine pretty good sized meatballs for my lunch, and I'm happy about it. I'm sorry, I'm eating with my mouth full. I'm trying to hurry before the rain comes. If you have a question about keto weight loss or weight maintenance, leave me a comment down below and I will try and answer those that I can get to. Well, we went to Southern Europe this week for our weekly meal plan. So if you tried out these dishes and you liked them, leave me a comment down below. I would love to know if you guys like these. And if you have any tweaks or ideas to substitute anything, also let me know. Well, folks, that's about it for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you'd like to see more keto content, keto weight loss, weight maintenance, emotional things that go into weight loss and all of that, how life changes, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, I will link all of that down below. You should definitely check out my Instagram. That's where I post things that are like going on in my real life kind of situation. 
Again, thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Allie. Have a good one. Bye. Okie dokie, artichoke. I see what you're doing. You're good.